Hi K4, welcome to phonics. So today you don't have a phonics paper. You have a paper that has an orange and a banana. So I want to make sure that you color that nice and neat. Try not to scribble scrabble, okay? And then I want to see your cutting skills. Get those scissors and practice. Remember, open, close, open, close, open, close, okay? Thumb always goes up, okay? I want to see what you guys do with that. Once you guys do that, have mom or dad send me a picture so I can see how your cutting is going. You guys were doing such a good job the last time we cut at school. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so today we are going to start with these. We did this once before. So I'm going to change the beginning sound, that means the first letter, the middle and the last sound are gonna stay the same. So these are also called rhyming words, right? Because they sound alike, but it's not the same word. It just sounds the same, like it's rhyming. So let's read this first one. P, I, P, G, pig. Now I want you right now to think really hard. What is a word that would rhyme with pig? So it doesn't, not the word pig, but something that sounds almost the same as pig. Think about it. Do you guys think of anything? Let's see if we flip through this and if it's one of the words that you thought about. So remember, ig, ig, ig is going to stay the same, only the beginning sound will change. So this one says pig. What does this one say? W, ig, wig, like something you put on your head, a wig. Did you, does anybody think of that word as the rhyming word? All right, if it's not that one, let's see if it's the next one. Ooh, what does this one say? Victor, can you read this? Big, very good, big. So we have wig, pig, big. Do you hear how they sound almost the same? We've got one more. Let's see if it's this one that you thought of. What does this one say, Juliet? Can you help me? What sound does this make? D, I, G, dig. Look at the little boy is digging a hole outside. Dig. So let's go over them one more time. Pig, wig, big, and dig. What about this? What does that say? Ig. Is that a word? No, those are just sounds, right? All right, let's try it one more time with a different kind of ending sound. I'm going to show you the ending sound first. Op, op. So they are all going to rhyme with op. So let's read the first one. Orlando, help me out. What does it say? Mm, op says mop. Very good. Now everybody think right now. Think of a word that might rhyme with mop. Mop. All right, let's see if any of these words is what you thought about. Ooh. Asher, what is this one? Top. T op. Top. Very good. So we have mop. Top. Luca, let's see if you can help me with this next one. What does it say, Luca? Read it. K op says cop. Good, Luca. Cop. Mop and top. All right, let's see. The next one, I want Nova to help me. Op says hop. Good, Nova. Hop. Those are all rhyming words. And the last one we know just says op. That's just a sound. Very good. Thank you for helping me. Now, I want to review our vowels, okay? When there is one vowel in a word, it usually says it's short sound. A, E, I, A, A. All right, everybody say this with me. When there are two vowels in a word, the first one says it's a long sound, and the second one is silent. A, E, I, O, U. Remember, they say their own name. And what do they wear on their head, Ella? They wear a hat. So 
look here. A says A in acorn. A, A, A. E says E in eagle. E, E, E. I says I in ice cream. I, I, I. O says O in open. O, O, O. U says U in uniform. U, U, U. Good job, friends. All right, now up here on the board, I have some, what are these called, Isabella? When they have a circle and eyelashes, what are those called? Sight words, and why are they called sight words? Because they don't follow the rules, right? We have to be able to see them and know what they say. So let's read them. Uh, the is I. Very good. Let's do them one more time. Uh, the is I. Awesome. All right. Now I have some one vowel wor words that turn into two vowel words. So it changes the word, right? All right, Fernando, when I have one vowel, what do I put on top? A happy face. Good. Fernando, can you read this for me? Cap. Cap. Good. Now look over here. I see one and I see two vowels in this one. So when there's two vowels, the first one says it's long sound. Good, Manuel. So how do I mark my long sound? with a straight stick or a hat. And what happens to the second one? It is silent. So let's read it. Remember it says its own name. A, K, cape. Good. So it goes from cap to cape. Good. Let's do one more. Let's see if David can help me. David, what do we do when there's one vowel in a word? Very good. You put a happy face on it. So read it. I, kit, kit. Very good. Now this next one, it has one, two. It has two vowels on it. So Louie, what do we do with the first one? Good. We put a straight stick and the second one is silent. So let's read it. I, Kai, t, kite. So it goes from kit to kite. Awesome job. All right, now down here, I have some sentences from our book, Gus. Some of you are on this book. Some of you already did it. And if you haven't done it, that is totally fine. You will get there soon. So let's look here. We're going to mark our vowels first. So I'm going to have... Alexa, help me with this first sentence. A sentence begins with what? A capital letter and it ends with a period. This little dot right here is a period. That means the sentence is done. All right, Alexa, let's do this. How do we mark this? Happy face. Let's read it. Gus. Gus. What is this one? Does this look like one of our sight words? Yes, yeah, so we're going to circle it and put eyelashes. And what does this sight word say? Is. So we have Gus, is. It's the same as this one, right? That's just a capital. Gus, is, a. Uh, we have something special on this one. And I know Maddie knows it because I saw a video of Maddie telling me about this. So Maddie, let's help me out with this. We have one vowel, so we put a what? A happy face. And we have two sounds that sound the same, that say So what do we do with that, Maddie? Yes, we circle it because we know that we don't say duck, right? We only say it one time, so that says duck, duck. Good, all right, everybody read it together, ready? Gus is a duck. Gus is a duck. So what does that tell 
telling us, that is telling us that this little guy right here, Gus, is a duck. It's telling us about Gus and what he is. All right, let's read the next one. And I want Miso to help me. Miso, what do we do with this one? We circle it because we know it's a sight word. And what does it say? Uh, there's one vowel. Good. Uh, bug, bug, a uh, bug. <gasps> this looks the same as this one and this one. We're gonna circle it. Eyelashes, and what does it say, Miso? Is a uh, bug is one vowel. Ah, n, on. A uh, bug is on. Oh, we have another sight word. What is it? The, very good. A uh, bug is on the, what's this last word? Log, very good. Log, log. So everybody, let's read it together. A uh, bug is on the log. You guys are reading full sentences now. You guys are ready to go to your next class pretty soon. I am so proud of you. You guys are doing a great job. I can't wait to see what you guys post on Facebook for the Jogathon. I miss you guys so much and I cannot wait to see you. Have a good day.